everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thank you for joining us on today's, I don't know, collector car, right? I don't even know if that requires a, uh, a question mark or more of an exclamation point. Because here we're talking about the last of the 454s, big block cars, you know, crushed by the smog and insurance and things like that. That's why these have become collectible. This one in particular is the way I would want to own a car and I'll share with you why. For instance, this car comes with the matching numbers 454 on a stand. However, inside here is an LS6 450 horse real deal. And I'm talking, it's rated at 454, 450 horse. It feels significantly more powerful. And I think they're underrated. I think they're probably more like 550 horse. This is Millie Miglia Red. Great looking, great color combination with the tan, very Ferrari-like. Uh, this is just a, this is a sports car, not just a muscle car, right? A sports car, because most people think of Corvettes as muscle cars. Well, the truth of the matter is, with four-wheel disc brakes and a four-wheel fully independent suspension, locked down inside this low slung car, this is a real deal sports car that not only runs well, handles well, but sounds exceptional. Okay, so a lot of times people will say, wow, that's a great looking car, and a Corvette in particular is a great looking car. The one thing I love most about it is the fact that no one will ever mistake this car for a Vega or a station wagon or a sedan or anything like that. If you took the emblems off here, everyone will know it's a Corvette. Reason why, look at these exaggerated fender flares here that house the wheels of race cars. The way the nose comes in, this scoop here, this is Ram air induction, right? It's got a cold air induction seal uh, for there, for the fresh air for the 450. And underneath the hood, I don't want to tell you, man, when you hear this thing run, you're going to be like, wow, you got to be kidding me. Anyway, my point is this, that you got big 15-inch wheels and tires, big brakes all the way inside there, and then, then you throw in great-looking paint. And I'd like to talk about that for just a second if we could. This is like mirror finish paint, right? It is exceptional paint, uh, especially under these harsh lights. You can read the, the letters nice and crisp. See those letters in there? Read them. Make sure that you can see that and ask that person that you're looking at the car. Make them do a video on the car like we're doing, right? Make them do the extra effort because pictures can make any car look good. I buy cars every single day. Pictures can make any car look good. The video and uh, this kind of detail will show you what you're really getting. All right, I just love this, this kind of last call out here. Look at the hood, 454, right? So few cars had it. The call out on there is really nice. It is the biggest motor you could get in a Corvette, the biggest motor they sold uh, in these GM cars, uh, like these muscle cars. Uh, and then inside here, we have a lot of options. And the options are important. Why are they important? Because we forget to ask about them, all right? So because this LS6 is bigger than the standard uh, 454 that came in it, uh, we had to put a little smaller air cleaner on the car. We'll look at that together, decide whether you like that. Maybe we have some options on that. Um, but my point is this, is that this car has power steering. You forgot to ask me about that. You know why? Because your modern car has that. This has power four-wheel disc brakes. Most people don't even know that a Corvette comes with four-wheel disc brakes, but it has power brakes as well. It has factory air conditioning. Factory air conditioning. I mean, come on, man. This is a loaded up, cool, cool piece uh, that's just really nicely done. And I think that, that having this and going to a car show and opening up and letting somebody see the last run of this 454 would be a very special event. All right, I love to talk about the styling of a Corvette. First, this has a custom exhaust on it, so it sounds really good. Wait till we start it. Secondly, the world knows what this is. There's no mistaking this car. If I was to remove these emblems, right? If I was just to take them off, no one would mistake this for a DeSoto or a Mustang GT or a, a, a Camaro. They just wouldn't. This car is exactly what it is. It's a Corvette. It's always a Corvette. It's what we dreamed of. Most of us could not afford these cars in high school when they were, you know, new cars, right? It took us years and years to get family, life, reli religion, well, religion too, but rhythm in our lives, right? To get it together before we could finally afford one. And now that they're going up in value, what a great hobby to enjoy that with. All right, so you're walking up to your car, man. This is it. Big block, four speed, Corvette, T-tops are off. Hey, man, it's a good looking car. But you know, this is where you're going to spend your time right inside here. So come join me. Let's check that out. All right. So important feature for you might be maybe you're a tall guy, right? Maybe you're 6'1", six, 6'2". Six, well, I'm 6'1", and I just want to show you that there's a lot of room in this car, especially this one in particular, because it has tilt wheel, it has telescopic, right? And so everything is kind of made and tailored to be in a driving position, right? I think what they did when they built the Corvette is they gave a guy a wheel, they put it in his hand, said, hold your arm here, and they built the entire interior around just looking cool because when you're working the shifter, it just feels cool. Power windows we talked about, 
Corvettes are great because they come full of gauges and full of a cool console. The air conditioning and HVAC controls here, 7,000 RPM tack and 160 mile an hour speedometer. Uh, and then you throw in the fact that these are real leather seats, not vinyl. The T-tops are back here in their bags like they're supposed to be. And uh, this is a red and tan car, like a Ferrari or maybe some Italian cars. It just has a great look. Not only is it an American muscle car, but it's very European looking as well. And if you don't love this wrap on here, this comes off. The customer who uh, traded this back in with us wanted this and the wood on here. And it doesn't have to stay. Like just say, hey, I'd rather have this black and that whatever. And we can do a couple small things and make some quick changes for you. The bottom line is this. You got AC, you're loaded up with equipment, and you can go for a nice long drive, throw some soft luggage in the back, and enjoy a great weekend in this car. All right, so let's run down the list of this for a second. This is a very, very, very special car, all right? First off, we're talking about one of around 4,000 of these big block uh, Corvettes made. Throw in a four-speed versus automatic, cut that in half, okay? Throw in an air-conditioned car, very few left then there. This has power windows, this has leather seats, not vinyl seats, leather seats, loaded with options, right? It is a high option, low production, collector car, collector car. Why is it a collector car? Because, right? Because there's so few left like it. There's almost none in the world. How many have been crashed, rusted, rotted out, whatever? This is a piece of history, and you're getting a car with two engines. Two engines. One, you can drive as much and hard as you want to. The other one is sitting there nicely, babysat. It's a matching numbers car, keeping the value of it up and up and up over time. So anyway, just something to think about. This is an awesome, awesome piece. Original Millie Miglia, Millie Miglia red car, and I just think it's great looking. Anyway, call us, 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about it. And if you don't mind, please click on the like down below there and uh, share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well. We got new content coming out every day. I think you're going to love it. And lastly, we're getting ready to go for a ride and you need to come with me. So what's it like to drive a big block four-speed Corvette? It's a lot of fun is what it is. Whoa. Wow. Thank goodness for independent suspension, four-wheel disc brakes, fast ratio power steering. Wow, how you doing? We are wheeling down the road. Big block 454, four-speed, factory air, T-tops are off. Wow. The only thing we're not doing because we want to hear the exhaust is listen to that great radio that's in here upgraded audio system i don't know if you guys can see the road ahead but it is awesome the way it goes around the road and that great sound i'm hoping you get a little bit of that action there get a little look of what i see come on down the chute come on down the hill click it into fourth gear it's just so easy to drive too man it's like a modern car it rides well this is really good. Look at the smile, sorry. And then, there is something nice about a manual transmission car. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this windy road, big block four-speed Corvette. What a lot of fun. We gotta find a way to get this one in your garage.